All right, quick video um, regarding the proof of that sine of x is equal to cosine x. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a result first, and then I'll prove that. <laughs> I'll make another video and prove it. So it involves some two special limits, okay? Uh, I wanna show this is true, so I'm just gonna use the definition. I'm just going to use the definition of the derivative, All right? So we know, we know that the derivative with respect to x of sine of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 sine x plus h uh, minus sine x all over h. The limit of the difference quotient, nothing crazy going on, just use the definition. Now we have to take reach way back and say, damn you trig identities. I need one right here, I need the sum formula. So this is equal to uh, the limit as h tends to zero of sine of x cosine of h plus sine uh, of h cosine of x minus sine of x all over h. So again, I mean, hopefully you see trig identity, sum formula, sine x plus h equals this business, right? This business is equal to this business using trig uh, identity. So now what? Now we need to group things together. So this is equal to, this is equal to the limit as h tends to zero, as h tends to zero. I'm going to group the sine x's together. I'm actually gonna factor that out. So what I have here is sine of x, what's left over? Cosine of x minus one divided by h plus, plus, so what I did, I brought this over here. I brought it with the sine x cosine h, factored it out. So I get sine x times uh, cosine, sorry, h, cosine h minus one plus, now this is over h. So plus, I'm gonna write this as, um, it doesn't matter, sine h cosine x all over h. This is where I need to use um, a couple of very special limits, okay? Uh, this is what I have now, this is what I have now. So this is equal to, I'm gonna factor the sine x out. Remember, it doesn't depend on h, so I can bring it out. This is sine of x limit as h tends to zero of of uh, cosine h, darn it, cosine h minus one, all over h, okay, uh, plus cosine x, and I'm distributing the limit through, uh, times the limit as h tends to zero of sine h over h. These are the two important limits that you need to know, actually, if you're taking a Calculus 1 course, you need to know what this limit is. This limit, I'll give you a second to think about it. It's zero, that's right, it's zero. So this is equal to zero. Later on, you use L'Hopital's rule to show that it's true. Uh, this one, what does this one equal? This is even more important. This limit right here equals, this equals, that's, that's right, it equals one. So, what can I say here? This business is all gone, gone. And this equals one. So what is my result? What am I left with? Sine, sine of x times zero plus cosine x times one. Oh, this is equal to cosine x. And I'm done. All right, I'll make a, I'll make a video. I need to prove why these are true. I'll make a video doing that. But for now, now you know the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Enjoy.